Hey guys, this is Mallory with 5150 Whips. I'm here to show you today how to utilize your Banland X app, which is our 187 products app. So what you're gonna do is, this app was formerly known as CNEX, and it changed over. You should have automatically gotten an update for doing this, but if not, we can easily help you download the app, not a problem. It is just called Banland X. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bring up that app. Once you bring that app up, it's gonna pop up a bunch of different options for you of channels. The reason for this is, which is a lot different compared to our Bleed'em and CNEX before, is you can actually control products separately from each other or all in sync, just like how you were used to with the Bleed'em. What you do is, is with the all channels option, everything is gonna be fully in sync with each other, whether that be your rock lights, your whips, halos, fangs, eyebrows, anything of that sort that you have of the 187 products or you have two channels that you can actually put things on separate channels to control separately. So if you want your rock lights to do something different from your whips, you can do that. Or they obviously could be all back in sync with each other once you select the all channels option. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to do that today. When you bring up your app, it's gonna show you some options at the top. At the top, it's gonna say channels, scenes, and then it's gonna show you the different channels below. If you click on the channels, it's gonna show all channels, channel one, and channel two. This is where you're gonna start changing everything to either be in sync or you're gonna do them separately from each other. So in this case, we're gonna pretend that our rock lights are on one channel and our whips are on another. What I'm gonna do is, is I wanna control my whips first. I'm gonna select channel one and it's gonna bring up a menu for me. This is only going to control that channel and that channel only. The other channel will not be affected whatsoever. So what you would do is you're gonna go on here and this is where you're gonna start selecting either functions or solid colors. Off to the right hand side, you're gonna see a top arrow and a bottom arrow. This is where you're gonna start scrolling through to go through functions to figure out which function that you're gonna to wanna to do, whether that be red, white, and blue, whether it be the party mode option, whether you're gonna utilize it with music playing in the background. So we have 40 channels to choose from. And this is where you can scroll through and find through those 40 channels what scenes that you prefer to run on your products. Once you get to channel 25 and up, those are gonna have music notes in the background. These are gonna be the functions that you can utilize with music playing for them to flash to the beat, or obviously below 25. These will just be regular functions with no music whatsoever and no interference of any type of music making them dance or do fancy stuff as most people know as the party mode. You can control your speed with this option as well, just like you can with the music for how fast you would like them to go and dance. You can also control the brightness down below, you're gonna have all your solid color options to choose from. They're either pre-programmed options or you could create colors in the color wheel down to the right-hand side. You can save the solid colors that you do create and utilize them in functions as well. It's just a saving process at that point. Now that I've selected something, say solid color green, that I want my rock lights to be on, then I'm gonna jump back over and go to channel number two, which is where now I can control my whips separately. So now my rock lights can be on green and I want my whips to be on red. So I'll select red, and now they're both separated. Now, a lot of people like to utilize this function with things being controlled separately for the fact of, you know, going to certain areas on the highways, things like that. You're not allowed to have rock lights running, but you obviously want your whips running. This is where you can either shut products off, in this case, the rock lights, or you can leave everything on, but control them separately so that you're within certain law standards of certain colors that you can or cannot run. Once you have everything together though, and you want everything to be fully in sync with each other, doing the same functions, colors, anything of that sort, you'll just jump right back over and go to all channels. Once you select all channels, this is gonna control both channels that you have simultaneously. So you will have no interference of any kind, there will be no differences in colors, patterns, anything like that. But everything will be fully in sync. So once this is on this section, if you're gonna shut it off, it's gonna shut off both channels, not just one. Versus if you go to channel one, you can shut off just channel one, or channel two, you can shut off just channel two. This is where everybody gets a little bit confused because up at the very top, we do have the option that says scenes. This is just a quick little reference scene to be able to select from, just like how your little physical remote you would have received with your Band Linux controller has on that remote. It's just a quick little way to change your whips or rock lights or everything running on that controller to one set option real quick without having to scroll through everything just to kind of get something going on your whips so that was your scene and noticed. But to actually control where you wanna customize and create and do a bunch of the other different functions, that is where you're gonna have to make sure that you're on the all channels option and going to the channels to control them. 
I hope this answers any questions that you might have. We are always available if it has not. But again, I'm Mallory with 5150 Whips, and we thank you so much.